A charter is the grant of authority or rights, stating that the grantor formally recognizes the prerogative of the recipient to exercise the right specified. It is implicit that the grantor retains superiority or sovereignty, and that the recipient admits a limited or inferior status within the relationship, and it is within that sense that charters were historically granted, and that sense is retained in modern usage of the term. The word entered the English language from the Old French chart, via Latin charter, and ultimately from Greek chart meaning, layer of papyrus. It has come to be synonymous with a document that sets out a grant of rights or privileges. Other usages The term is used for a special case or as an exception of an institutional charter. A charter school, for example, is one that has different rules, regulations, and statutes from a state school. Charter can be used as a synonym for «hire» or «lease», as in the «charter». Of a bus or boat or plane, a charter member US English of an organization is an original member, that is, one who became a member when the organization received its charter. A chartered member British English is a member who holds an individual chartered designation authorized under that organization's royal charter. <laughs> <laughs> Different types of charters Anglo-Saxon charters Anglo-Saxon charters are documents from the early medieval period in Britain which typically make a grant of land or record a privilege. They are usually written on parchment, in Latin but often with sections in the vernacular, describing the bounds of estates, which often correspond closely to modern parish boundaries. The earliest surviving charters were drawn up in the 670s. The oldest surviving charters granted land to the church, but from the 8th century surviving charters were increasingly used to grant land to lay people. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Charter Colony. The British Empire used three main types of colonies as it sought to expand its territory to distant parts of the earth. These three types were royal colonies, proprietary colonies, and corporate colonies. A charter colony by definition is a "...colony chartered to an individual, trading company, etc., by the British Crown." Although charter colonies were not the most prevalent of the three types of colonies in the British Empire, they were by no means insignificant. <laughs> Congressional Charter A congressional charter is a law passed by the United States Congress that states the mission, authority, and activities of a group. Congress issued federal charters from 1791 until 1992 under Title 36 of the United States Code. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Municipal Charter. A municipal corporation is the legal term for a local governing body, including but not necessarily limited to cities, counties, towns, townships, charter townships, villages, and boroughs. Municipal incorporation occurs when such municipalities become self-governing entities under the laws of the state or province in which they are located. Often, this event is marked by the award or declaration of a municipal charter. Topic. Order charter Charters for chivalric orders and other orders, such as the Sovereign Military Order of Malta. Topic. Project charter In project management, a project charter or project definition sometimes called the terms of reference is a statement of the scope, objectives and participants in a project. It provides a preliminary delineation of roles and responsibilities, outlines the project objectives, identifies the main stakeholders, and defines the authority of the project manager. It serves as a reference of authority for the future of the project. <laughs> <laughs> Royal Charter In medieval Europe, royal charters were used to create cities i.e., localities with recognized legal rights and privileges. 
The date that such a charter was granted is considered to be when a city was «founded», regardless of when the locality originally began to be settled. At one time a royal charter was the only way in which an incorporated body could be formed, but other means such as the registration process for limited companies are generally now used instead. Inspeximus Charter A charter of inspeximus, Latin, literally, we have inspected, is frequently a royal charter, by which an earlier charter or series of charters relating to a particular foundation such as a monastery or a guild was recited and incorporated into a new charter, usually in order to confirm and renew its validity under present authority. Where the original documents are lost, an inspeximus charter may sometimes preserve their texts and lists of witnesses. See also Articles of Incorporation Atlantic Charter Charter Roll Charter School Chartered Company Earth Charter Freedom Charter Fueros Spanish version General Incorporation Law Magna Carta Medieval Bulgarian Royal Charters Papal Bull United Nations Charter <laughs>